Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, it is the day or the night eve before my surgery. Um, so it is Monday night and I have had uh, such a long day today. I've been prepping, I've been cleaning, making sure everything is set for just, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I just like to have everything ready when I know that I'm gonna be like gone for a while. Um, I'm hoping that the surgery is pretty quick. They did call me and scheduled me for six in the morning. So I plan on waking up at five in the morning to um, shower uh, and be out the door by like 5.30. I think the hospital is about 20 minutes of a drive away from us. So yeah, um, thankfully they said Brando could be with me um, in the lobby and he can wait there. And once they take me to the back, uh, he can also be with me while they prep me. But once it's time to send me to the OR, then I he has to go back and wait outside or wait in the lobby. So I'm kind of glad that they allowed him to be there during that time. I thought he was going to have to be outside and I would be alone, but thankfully not. Oh, I have had such a headache all day, you guys. Um, I have been drinking black coffee for about a, a month, about a week and a half now and um i've been trying to like lose weight and just kind of be more careful with the things that i put into my body and for me doing like the very heavy like creamer um coffee it just it got old you guys um it's been messing with my stomach i've noticed and ever since i switched to black coffee i've felt so much better um but this morning i did have some dutch bros <laughs> because Brando wanted to treat me before my surgery. So uh, it was delicious, um, but I've had a headache all day and I think I'm just like nervous to do the surgery, but nonetheless excited. I have Millie with me here. I'm just chilling, chilling, trying to finish off this day. I think it's, okay, it's 5.40 p.m. So it's starting to get a little dark out here. Um, so Millie took one nap today. That means early bedtime. Normally she does two naps. Today was just one. So I'm gonna probably put her to sleep in about 30 minutes and then put Leo to sleep as well, which by the way, she kind of seems like she's getting sick with a cold. I'm hoping not though, because that would really suck. That would really suck if she got sick right now. I will check back in with you guys probably in the morning uh, once we're already out of the house um, because in the morning like I said I just plan to wake up shower and leave oh, yeah so see Melly's even sneezing now so I don't know if they're getting sick I don't know but yeah you guys um, I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so I am here at the hospital it is almost six in the morning which is the time that they asked me to be here um, so yeah, we're just here. We're like a little bit early, so I have some time to check in, but I'm feeling, sorry, let me just sit you guys there. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually wearing the same outfit I wore when I had my C-section like a year and change ago. Um, I thought maybe I should wear like loose clothes and I don't know though, cause my pants are a little, like they're a little tight. So I'm thinking they'll probably ask me to, to put them underneath my stomach because that's where the incisions are going to be. <sighs> but I'm feeling good. Um, I think my biggest like worry or thing is like I just I'm scared to go under like that's I don't know I feel like it's always a little scary and it's so funny because like this this surgery isn't as invasive as a c-section because well the c-section they're pulling out your your baby and yet you're not fully asleep in a c-section and here I am but it's fine um, I'm gonna fall asleep and wake up before I know it so um, I don't think I'll be able to film much inside um, I'm afraid they'll take the camera away so um, I'll probably just have uh, Brando um, record as much as he can and I'm hoping that this is quick like I actually want to be out of here like really really fast I don't want to be here any more than I have to so Hopefully they get me started and prepped within the hour. I really hope it's not like, oh, you have to be here at six, but the doctor doesn't get here till nine or something. Hopefully not. So anyways, um, I will check in with you guys 
really soon and I, I think the next time you guys will see me is actually going to be after the surgery so wish me luck. Okay guys, so it is now 7.03, so um, I didn't actually have to wait in the lobby for long. <sighs> and I'm just waiting, I'm already in my little robe, and I'm just waiting to be wheeled, or not wheeled out, but I guess taken to the OR, and um, Brenda's gonna keep all of my stuff with him, and once I'm done and out of surgery, they're gonna let him come, with, come in with me to recovery for about an hour depending on how I do, so yes, here we go. Okay guys, so it has been um, a while since I last, um, sorry, we were watching the World Cup, but um, it's been about two hours since I checked back in, believe it or not, and I'm still, um, I'm still here. <sighs> um, there's a surgery before me, and then after her, her surgery is done, then it's my turn, so I'm literally just waiting for her to be done, and then... Finally, it's time for me. I didn't think I was going to be waiting for such a long time, but yeah, I am ready to get out of here. So, I have my IV, which really hurts. I hate the way they inserted it, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm super hungry. I'm craving Chinese food. I'm craving tacos. I'm craving a burger. I can't wait to eat. So I'm finally out of the surgery. And I think the right thing took about an hour. This is super raw and you know, but I wanted to get it on camera for you guys. Um, my throat feels a little dry, but not too bad. And I have this little cup here, just in case I puke, because I always puke after I've been under, so um, I have to start waking up though, so I'm going to try to get to be more conscious and get the heck out of here. I'm still hungry, <laughs> still want um, tacos, I still want everything. It feels a little sore just because um, they put a camera, I think, or no, they put a tube or something, so it feels like I have a sore throat, but it's okay. <laughs> and as far as my pain on my stomach, I don't feel anything, but I'm sure I'll feel it soon. And, um, just we need to get out of here but everything went well thankfully and um i feel fine so i will probably see you guys um soon once i get into the car it is 12 11 so we've been here since six in the morning oh uh, it's been a really fast but slow morning i don't know it's so weird um Anyways, I can't get to get, I can't wait to get out of here. I'm tired, but I'm like ready to see the girls. So, uh, I'll see you guys really soon.
Thank you. So it is now 2.50 and we just left the hospital. Um, I'm so happy to be going home. I'm sorry for the shadow, but... Um, yep, so we got released. It was so nuts because... Uh, so I didn't know, but like after you're done with like the surgery or something, like they tell you that you have to you have to urinate like a certain amount and I went one time it wasn't enough and the second time wasn't enough either and then the third time finally was enough and then the people dumped it I was like oh my god I almost cried because I was like that means I'm gonna have to wait again and continue like drinking all these fluids and it was like making me nauseous all of the drinking so I was like ew and just annoyed at this point but thankfully they um i was like no i'm like it reached 100 which was what they wanted and they were like oh okay it's fine don't worry we just want to make sure that like your um bladder is like fully awake and stuff um i have like a really dry mouth right now but i'm just happy that they let me and we got discharged and we're going home um so I think that's probably gonna be the end of this video just because once I get home like I just I just miss the girls and I just want to go home and try to like relax so um, I'm gonna check back in with you guys later um, for the next video so the next video will be like the post-op vlog <laughs> if I can do that so anyway um, alright so I will see you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for keeping up um, and checking on me and everything um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well that's where I have a lot of other updates too so I'll see you guys later bye I can hear the raindrops falling